Hi everybody, so here it is. Share Factory is confirmed for the PlayStation 5. Um, and this is incredible. This is so, so important for anybody who um, has a YouTube channel um, or likes creating videos from their PlayStation to sharing, you know, to YouTube and Twitter and other places. Because Share Factory on the PlayStation 4 has been the backbone of how I have created hundreds and hundreds of videos without having a high-end laptop or, or uh, editing editing PC. Uh, quite simply, Share Factory on the PlayStation 4 is probably the most underrated video editing app ever, <laughs> ever created. Um, on the PlayStation 4, you can record up to an hour's worth of gameplay um, and uh, you can then edit that on your PlayStation 4 in Share Factory, which is a free app, cut it, add other add other um, clips, add a voiceover, add music, add pictures, all this sort of stuff, and then upload it to YouTube or Twitch without the need for uh, another PC. And one of the things that I was concerned about with the PlayStation 5, because we hadn't hear or heard anything about it, was whether Share Factory would be getting updated, and and would it be on the PlayStation 5? Because it's one of the most important buying decisions for me over which console to get an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5. Now, we haven't heard anything from Xbox. I haven't seen anything about any video editing software included on, on their console. The um, video editing software that was included on the Xbox One wasn't very good uh, because the Xbox One couldn't record video for very long at all. I think it was like 10 minute clips, was the, which was the longest you could do. And the uh, and it was very difficult to, to splice stuff together. Where Share Factory is incredibly easy. But as you can see, this is the official listing on the PlayStation Store for the PlayStation Five. It says add to library, but you can't. It doesn't let you do it. P uh, PS camera optional. Um, so what that means is you can then you know add uh, your, your your face. Uh, you know you can put uh, an overlay of you onto video you've already recorded. Doesn't say whether it's got to be. The PlayStation 4 camera or the new camera. I'd imagine it's got to be the new camera because PlayStation uh, 5 Share Factory Studio, as it's, as it's called now, um, supports 4K. So, so let's read what the description says. Build your legacy. Share Factory Studio is back and better than ever with brand new features to help you personalize and show your best gaming moments. Share Factory Studio on PS5 now includes 4K HDR support to create and edit professional looking videos right on your console. Add stickers, text, sound effects, filters, camera effects and more to create dazzling videos and share to YouTube, Twitter or directly to your friends in game base. Use the photo edit to customize and share your screenshots and create your own unique memes. The updated toolbox feature allows you to import your own videos, images, music, and sound effects from a USB storage device. Download Share Factory Studio. So, and you probably heard the excitement in my voice about that bit. So, what they're saying is they, they, they've made it easier to import your own videos um, and images. Because one of the problems with Share Factory on the PlayStation 4 was that you had to get the format right before you could you could import, especially video. If it wasn't the right format video, forget it. Um, images as well, you had to make sure they were the right size. Um, music wasn't quite so bad, I think you could use MP3 or WAV. Um, but yeah, th th that's really, really cool, the fact that they've they've done that. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just want to find out more about Share Factory and the PlayStation 5 to get in contact with the devs and go, well done, <laughs> brilliant, it's fantastic that, that this app is coming. Um, because it's been such a key element for, for my YouTube channel. Um, being able to use it because one of the things about uh, about creating YouTube channel and creating videos is that the ease that you can create those videos is really important and you could probably say say with my channel one of the problems is the fact that you know I'm very good at creating lots of videos of very low quality um, but you know as a new YouTuber often that's what you've got to do you know you've got to answer lots and lots of questions about people that people have about these games and I don't have much time you know I, I work full time um, I don't, you know, so I, I've got to create these videos quickly, and Share Factory on the PlayStation 4 allowed me to do that. You know, the ability to be able to just hit that share button, have recorded the last hour of gameplay, and then cut that up into some sort of video and upload it to YouTube, or do do you know more bespoke videos as well. It really was very, very powerful, and still is very powerful on the PlayStation 4. And the fact that it's coming to PlayStation 5, as they say that it's going to have, so you're going to be able to edit 4K video. 
and HDR 4K video as well. Wow. Again, it doesn't say whether it can um, export at 4K HDR. Um, but, but one of the beauties of using uh, a games console like the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5 for, for rendering video is they're really good at rendering video really quick. I guess they put it through the graphical processor. And I love the fact that they've mentioned YouTube as well. You know, this integration with YouTube is so, so important. Um, Share Factory didn't integrate with Twitch because the, the live streaming aspect of the PlayStation 4 is handled within the system. And I'd imagine we'll still see that within the PlayStation 5 as well. And one of the big unanswered questions about the Xbox Series X uh, or the, the, the Series S is the fact that with the death of Mixer and the fact that Mixer you know, went to Facebook Gaming, the idea that maybe the Microsoft platform is going to be more integrated with Facebook Gaming, which, you know, I don't, I, I'm not interested in that at all. I want YouTube and I want Twitch and I want Twitter. And it looks like Share Factory on the PlayStation 5 is going to be do that. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty much sold on the PlayStation 5 now. Um, the fact that it's got Share Factory just makes me go, yeah, that's it. That, that's the final piece of the puzzle. It may turn out that the PlayStation 5 isn't quite as powerful as the Xbox One. Uh, Xbox Series X, sorry, or the Xbox, yeah, um, but the fact that it has Share Factory means that I know I can still create videos on the console and then export them to YouTube, which is so, so, so important. So there we go. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I've now got to figure out how to get hold of a PlayStation 5, because <laughs> you can't get hold of them, can you, anywhere? It's probably going to be after Christmas now, I guess, but I'm, I'm super excited, the fact that... Um, yeah, it's got what I want. It's got what I need. And uh, yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. What do you think, though? Are you a Share Factory fan? Are you excited the fact that it's now been confirmed that it's coming to PlayStation 5? Um, uh, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like if you want to see more of the same. Press subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.